If your PC is showing that your PC did not start correctly message and won't boot properly, first, you'll want to force Windows into recovery mode. You do that by holding the power button to shut your PC off. Then turn it on, and as soon as you see the boot screen, hold the power button again to force it off. Do that three times in a row, and on the third try, Windows should launch into recovery mode. Once you're there, click Advanced Options to get started. Start with Startup Repair. Just go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and click on Startup Repair. If you don't see it right away, there's usually a link that says See More Recovery Options. Let that run. It'll try to automatically fix whatever's wrong. If that doesn't solve it, move on to the next step. Another option is restoring the registry through command prompt. Head back to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and open Command Prompt. Once it's open, type in these commands one by one and press Enter after each. cdc colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config. MD backup 5. Copy backup 5. CD reg back. Copy. If it asks if you want to overwrite files, just type A and press Enter. When you're done, type Exit and click Continue to try booting back into Windows. Still stuck? Try booting into Safe Mode. Go back to the Advanced Options menu, choose Startup Settings, and click Restart. When the next screen comes up, press 4 or F4 to start in Safe Mode. If Windows loads, just restart normally after that, and it might fix the issue. You can also run a disk check from Command Prompt. Go back to Advanced Options Command Prompt again, then type. Check disk slash F slash RC. Press Enter and let it run. This checks your drive for errors and repairs anything it finds. It can take a while but it's worth it if something on your drive is causing the boot problem.